I've uploaded the new cube with the default mapping onto the beta grid. And let's see what happens now. It works. You might want to lighten the texture a bit. And they're pretty much the same. One's going horizontal and one's going vertical. We can change that if we want to by going over here. And now they match. One thing that you'll notice is that because the mapping on the mesh cube is all the same, we have no way to select just a single face. They all change at the same time. If we change the color, they'll all change at the same time. So there's a way that we can fix that and do some more interesting things. Let's go back to the drawing board. Currently, our crate has one material. Remember we called it cube long ago? Well, it's getting to be a little bit more like a crate now. So why don't we change the name there? And I'm going to call it wood. And up here, I'm going to double click on cube and I'm going to call that crate. That makes more sense now that it's starting to look like a crate. We need to make a second material in order to get a texture on one face. Let's say we wanted to make a vendor box to sell our products in. That would be a good reason to do this. If we want to take our crate and make it into a vendor box, then we'd want to be able to have a picture of our product on one of the faces. We can't do that now because everything is all the same material. But we can fix that so that that's a possibility. First of all, we need to go into edit mode so we can go down here, remember, or that tab key gets us there quicker with face select selected down here. You want to click on the face that you want to put your product vendor on. It could be the top one, it could be this one, it doesn't really matter, but one of the faces. And we're going to go over here and we're going to add a new material and I'm going to call it picture. And then we're going to assign that material to this face. If we click on the other faces, see they say wood. If we click on this one, it says picture. This one, it says wood. It's a good idea to check that out before you get too far along and you upload because sometimes, especially when you're starting, you can get some surprises along the way. It's very easy to make mistakes when you're starting. Okay, so that's really all that we had to do. And we're going to go ahead and save the file again and upload it just like we have before. I've uploaded our mesh cube with two materials onto the beta grid and added the wood texture to the whole thing. Now we can tell which face is going to be a single face by clicking on the select face button and if we click over here you can see that the rest of the faces are going to be wood where this one you can see that it's going to be all by itself. So we're going to take this texture and put it there and we have our vendor box. And here's some optional homework for you should you care to take up the challenge. See if you can make a cube that will take six different textures. You will need to make six materials, one for each face. And remember you need to click on a face make a new material, assign that material. So you will have six materials listed in that little area that shows you the materials and each one of those will correspond to a different face on your cube. That's it. Next time we're going to venture into a little more exciting territory now that you're a whole lot smarter.